All right, guys, we're here to talk about that meta materials. That's right, MMAT. Let's go, MMTLP. Let's go. All right, man. Uh, so the stock today, yes, was green again. I know it's just like, how many more videos am I going to keep making this month where the stock is green? And we're going to go over that. So uh, today, the stock was up 6.49%. So six and a half percent. We're up, guys. This is just phenomenal. Uh, on the five day, we were up 23.9%. And the one month, we're up 48.12%. We've been talking about this. It's that stock market rotation. And we are in that sector that is getting a little bit of the rotation money coming in. Now, we are facing this $2 wall. And we're going to go over that here. And you're going to see it here. So we did reach during the regular trading hours $1.97, which we we're up to 6.5%. But then after hours, we did get half of that back. We gave six cents back and we gave back three uh three point zero five percent ending at a dollar ninety one that's after hours that can be manipulated through very low float um as we look here on the screen you see currently as recording this video the futures are currently down with s p down 25 points the dow futures are down 90 points the nasdaq futures are down 150 points the russell is down five points and crude oil is down a half percent and gold is up so as you can see here, though, market volume was pretty decent today, uh, right in line of almost average. Average volume, 5.1 million, and we traded 4.7 million. So pretty much right on the target there. And we did that video last night talking about the price target. Well, now you got Yahoo Finance updating it exactly to those analyst price targets that we uh, went over in last night's video at a $3.58. But like I said, that's not including, guys, the dividend, the dividend coming out. The potential short squeeze we're going to be talking about in this video, and we got the glucose wise uh, patent coming out. It's going to be just amazing. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going here. MMTLP is up one and a half percent today, trading at a buck twenty-eight. Average volume four hundred seventy-one thousand shares. We traded two hundred ninety-seven thousand. So pretty close. Looking at the oil here, WTI crude is at one hundred nine dollars and seventy cents. Brent crude is at $112.80, and natural gas is at $8.75, man. Natural gas is about ready to hit $9. So, whew, the way the gas is going up, guys, that can make a huge difference in the dividend, the way the gas keep going up. If our Oro Grande project has a lot of natural gas, it could add a couple more bucks to the potential dividend. It, it really can. All right, so... One thing I did want to touch base here on, uh, Meta Material News here on Twitter put this out today, and I just wanted to highlight this because it's actually a nice refresher. MMAT, one year ago in May, MMAT, formerly known as TRCH, started its rally from $1.50 to $11, a 500% increase. On the Canadian side, a Nova Corp sees a return of $104 million from their MMAT investment. So that's pretty huge right there, guys. And if we go back here and look, at the one month chart here in May, May seems to be a good month for Meta Materials, which we were TRCH last year, but still uh, up 48% if you bought back here in the beginning of May. Uh, yeah, pretty, actually, it'd be a little better than that, actually, because that was April. And on May 2nd, we were $1.27. You've got 55% if you bought on May the 2nd, guys, up 55%. So, May is a good month for our stock. Uh, we're going to see what happens with uh, June was a good month because that's when we had the reverse split and the sh stock price shot up to like 20 some dollars. That, that was because of the reverse split. We were technically like 10 or 11. Then the reverse split doubled that price, which is why it shows that drastic, the drastic steep up here to 1984, which it really wasn't that. That was just the reverse split merger. And yeah, that's kind of what happened after that. But as you can see here, Great start to the recovery. All right. So what I want to show you here is the Fentel now, guys. we got a lot of great information on here. Days to cover is at 7.94, so almost eight days to cover. Uh, they did update the short interest percent of float. They finally got that adjusted with the um, insider shares. So now we're at 18.12% insider, uh, well, short interest percent of float. And guys, check this out. We are still hanging at number two of the Fintel short squeeze score at a 97.36. So we're just ready to ready to explode, man. And look at this here. Talked about this in the last video. 
how there was 650,000, it came out to 700,000. And what did they do? They took them all right off the market, shorted them, borrowed them. And what happened with the stock, guys? Stock still went up 6.5%. They took back 3% after hours. Still up about 3.5% for the day. Uh, I consider that a huge win. Uh, market was green. We're up 3.5%. That, that's pretty huge considering. Now, like I said, we could probably be better than that. But after hours, they could have manipulated that price with very little shares. We know how they do that. Go ahead and look at this, guys. The short bar fee did come down, but it's still up there very high. Short bar fee at 109.28%. We was at 163%. And I think there could be a little bit of covering here going on from some, maybe some of these newer shorts. Uh, we'll have to see. But I think there is some covering, maybe small covering. The ones that are probably in deep, long from Torch Days, they probably have them covered. But they're going to have their day, trust me. Uh, Fender short volume ratio at a 56.52 today on the 23rd. And we got the update already. Aggregate short volume ratio, 59.39. All right. Uh, there is this form out here. I'm not really sure exactly. It's an amendment. It says amendment to arrange a uh, agreed date at June 18th, 2021, Torchlight, and it has June 21st, 21. Uh, I read through it, but I really didn't see anything that uh, I guess draws attention. Um, but maybe I'll come back to a separate video going over that whole detail of this uh, Fintel document here, but nothing really that I noticed. Um, and there's this article out here, guys, on the investor place. I'm sure you've seen it. Uh, short squeeze stocks and MMAT is one of them that the other and three others that experts think are ready to pop. So they're talking about five stocks here that are ready to pop. And MMAT is one of them. And they put them in the headline here, guys. Uh, we're going to hear and read this here. It says short squeeze stocks continue to be interest to retail traders who are looking to pump up shares while pushing short sellers out of a company. Fintel keeps track of these short squeeze leaderboard. And we're diving into top five stocks that could pop this week. Uh, you got Meta Materials here is next on the list with a rating of 97.36. The short interest of the stock is 46.7 million shares, which is up 11.68% from the last month. So it's nice to see that um, we're getting noticed, guys. That's what we want. We want to get noticed. We want to get people talking about the stock. And that's what we're getting here. We're getting that talk about them here. Uh, maybe other retail traders don't know about this and they're going to dig into this stock and find out what we know on it, which we go over this daily, uh, how there's huge short interest back in the torch days, which is going to come and burn those freaking torch, uh, shorts from back there in those torch days, man. It's going to be exciting. Um, here it says, it's not, uh, it's worth noting that chasing short squeeze stocks isn't for every investor. The stock can often target a short squeeze can be incredibly volatile. That means the squeeze can send shares soaring. Only for them to tumble back down for a short time later. Keep that in mind while trading this week. So there you go. Investors searching for more of the latest stock news. They'll keep you updated here. So there it is, guys. Uh, that is pretty much all the uh, updates I got for you today. If you want to know more of my thoughts on that document, uh, leave a comment down below. Like I said, this amendment here, I really didn't see anything that just draws my attention to it. So I don't know. It's just talking about... I didn't see anything like, oh my, I had to, you know, report the news on this document. But I mean, John Berta here signs it. Uh, George here signs it. And I'm going to do a little dig and see if I can come up with anything. Maybe I'll take a picture of this and send it to John Berta over uh, Twitter and see if we get a reply. Maybe he can give us an update what it is. So, all right, guys, that is all I got for you in today's video. If you got any value, please smash the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below because, you know, it helps out that algorithm. And I got to make a note. I was cracking up. Uh, here on my video, I gotta go to it because I just gotta show you. It made me laugh. Um, so uh, you know, as guys always say, leave a comment down below, and I gotta find it on here because uh, D, uh, D Sullivan made me crack the heck up. Here it is. He actually left a comment, so <laughs> you guys always know how I say, leave a comment down below. He just commented comment so i thought that's pretty funny so uh hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did smash thumbs up leave a comment down below and i will catch you on the next video guys peace